I'm trying to do some English rap. Yeah, some pretty good bones. Um, chicken wild and uh, uh, I'm trying to do some English rap. Yeah, some pretty good bones. Um, chicken wild and uh, uh, I'm trying to do some English rap. We do guys with some men with a grass of grass and bowls of um. I really should have added subtitles to that thing other than the opening line, but hey, what are you going to do? Swings and roundabouts. A very good evening. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Nedbite Has A Goer. And today we are going to be going with Wallace and Gromit. Yes. Um, we are halfway through it. It's um, a game based on the British plasticine-made show by Our Man Productions of the same name. Uh, we're halfway through it. There's four episodes, and we are going to be playing episode three today, Muzzled. Now, if you're looking for a little bit of a story recap, last episode, Wallace and Gromit tried to do their own indoor seaside resort, but it went rather badly, uh... And it ended up having to, we ended up having to solve a murder mystery of um, of uh, that involved two of the neighbor's dogs. Let's put it that way. So yeah, um, we're uh, to the next one for Monday. And you know what? I am just gonna completely shut up and I'm just gonna go straight into the game. Okay, so. We should be ready to start right about now. I went ahead this time and actually um, did the normal settings because when we played this game originally... When we played this game originally, it's either been the wrong resolution so it's never really filled the screen properly or it, um, or it either slowed down considerably. So I've went ahead and readjusted them to the um, right setting. So hopefully it should be a smooth experience this episode. So yeah, it's uh, episode three, Muzzled. Now we don't know much about this other than there's a circus in town. So why don't we just jump in and find out? No, we know how to play this now. Let's just start. Muzzled. That's Sorry. Should do it, lad. Our brand new Infini flavor ice cream makers ready for business. Patent pending, of course. Its infrared taste analyzer can sample any flavor and turn it into a delicious ice cream. What do you say, Gromit? Fancy pushing the button on our inaugural batch? Wensleydale cream, anyone? Anyone who's watched the Wallace and Gromit shorts might recognize churn, might recognize the gun they've got on top of that ice cream van. Alright, okay. Look at it churn, lad. Just in time to be road tested in front oh, of paying of customers at the fair this weekend. And Imagine if you had no place to call home. Split says it's to raise money to rebuild the dog shelter. Hmm. 
must be the breeze. Miss Flit says the strays have been making mischief all over town. On Tuesday, Mrs. Gabbley's shop was terrorized by a gang of terriers. No doubt they'll come to heel once they've a proper roof over their heads. I'm sure everyone will give generously at the fair to build them a new home. I can't be the only dog lover in town. Laura Gromit, wild dogs, stray scoundrels, mangy good-for-nothing mongrels mangling me machine. They must be some of the escapees. Oh no, the crank. Believer. The flavor engraver, the brains of our custom flavor scanner lad, it's been scrambled. The four-legged beans. I'm sorry, lad, but this is some serious damage. I suppose it's nothing that can't be fixed. I'll tinker with the flavor engraver if you track down our filched crank and our lifted lever. And this cute one's going to need to be calmed down as well. Mind you, it'll take a month of ice cream sundaes to put things right if I can't patch things up. You've got to get them in order if we're going to have the Infini flavor ready for the fair this weekend. Come on, lad, you're a dog. You can reason with them. All that. That would assume I have help. to. I have words, Wallace. Okay, before we go any further, there is one thing I did completely forget to do. Uh, put the subtitles on. There we go. Um, I don't know if you All heard that. that. Hard work held up. Are you done, Wallace? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if you heard that before, but that was a really weird audio glitch. Um, episode 2 did something similar to this. I don't know if it's just with the game itself or just my hardware. Um, but, I mean, this is a game from, like, 2009 or something. It shouldn't really be the hardware. Alright, let me see how this looks. Is it running smoothly? Uh, I believe it is. Yeah, that's running nicely. Just making sure the stream isn't slowing down or anything like that. Okay. Oi, Bucci. I need that lever. Oh, Gromit, this machine might not be completely cream cracked after all. Let's have a shifty. It's still a bit uh, discombobulated, lad. <laughs> okay, well that one that one was easier than I expected it would be. Um, so we need to go and find the other dog that stole our rank. Okay, do we need to do anything with him anymore, or? Okay, I don't think we can do much else with him then. Uh, what can we do with you then, little lad? Redline tires, Gromit. Just to be sure we never get a puncture. Okay. Um. Can I go over here? I don't think I can. Okay, has the other one gone upstairs then, have they? See, one of the dogs has followed me up here. Oh, is that the um, is that the one that she was chewing on the tires? Okay. Okay, so upstairs is blocked off, so we can't go up there for now. Let's see what's in the dining room. Oh. It appears we can't go in there either. In the kitchen. Come on, dog. Oh. He's shaking. Look at him. Oh, poor little thing.
Oven is out of commission until the weekend, having a spot of trouble. And yet it's giving you the option to turn it on. Sorry, Wallace. Okay. Nothing. Fridge. Uh, that is absolutely nothing. Here we go, walkies. I was going to say the dog followed us out, but it looks like he has. You! You, you little terror! Oh, oh. I think we found our missing part. Ah! Oh, did you let the dogs out? This mangy whippet is... is ravaging my roses! Game! hurtling out of your master's house with some sort of bone in its mouth. Hmm. Feeding the strays really is the last straw. Now he's gone underground and Lord knows what he's doing to my roots. And where's Wallace when I need him? Are there no real men left in this world to protect a woman's property? Don't just stand there. Do something. You're a dog. Can't you reason with him? Uh, I'm not touching that one. Um, let's see. That's where the dastardly digger went underground. Look at my petunias, pulverized. Okay, can we actually do anything here? Yes. Uh, what can I see with Thank that? Heavens, the rascal didn't tear up my tulips. I don't know how I'd have coped. All right. Uh, can we do anything with the gnome? Does this have a purpose? It does not. I mean, if you if you've seen um, Wallace and Gromit shorts, you recognise the little gnome and the uh, pond that flips open. All right. Let's see if we can get any items in the house. Anything particular I'm missing? Oh. Where's all the crackers gone? In the first two episodes, we had a whole stockpile of them, but no longer. Okay, so. Okay, right, so we need to fix the gas at some point. Okay, so go back down in the basement, see if there's anything we haven't picked up in there. And he's going to follow me back down in there, isn't he? Oh, actually, I completely missed that. Can I do anything with the little bunny rabbit here? Maybe give it to the little doggo? Okay. Do I need to give it to him in a specific place, though? I'm not entirely sure. Let's give him the bunny here. certainly did the trick, didn't it, lad? Oh, my, you used to being so attached to it. Took quite a spell to wean you off it, in fact. Now we can focus on getting this machine up and running. Ah. Oh. Okay, so what are the dog's names? I'm pretty sure the, um... 
Let's see if I can use an item with them. What is that? Flitcher. Oh, okay. One of the dog's names is Twitch. Okay, so Twitch, um, Wallace and Gromit named a dog after you. Nice. Any luck with the mischief makers? Well, I've done two out of three of them. Let's see, can we read It's really an ingenious idea. A custom flavor technology that makes sure there's an ice cream for everyone. You just take a sample of anything you fancy, insert it into the flavor scanner, and press the churn button. All right. Um... Inquire. The combination of infrared scanning and molecular chemistry, the flavor engraver can imbue our ice cream with any flavor imaginable. Okay, just want to make sure I don't keep knocking the microphone over. All right, use that with that. He swiped it again. You cheeky devil. What's he got there, lad? I think he's helped himself to our valuables. Looks like you've been raiding the kitchen, lad. Part of a canine crime ring. He's only got a taste for the expensive stuff. Okay, so will that work again getting that crank off him? Uh, no, it didn't work again this time. Storm destroys dog shelter. Rogue pups roam street, terrorize town. Okay. Not quite done painting the sign yet, Gromit. That's a nice shade of blue, though, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say that so. That sign would be a nice finishing touch if we could get the machine back up and running. Okay, so that scaring them again will not work. Where's he gone? Okay. Can I go out to town, maybe? Oh, hello. Could I do anything with that lead tire now? They're a bit on the heavy side, but the most reliable on the market. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's go out to town and see what we can find. So yeah, if you've just joined us, Wallace and Gromit are trying to um, start an ice cream business, but there's a rogue dog. Um... Morning, private. Uh, hi. Daddies, private daddies. I'm sure by now you've received intelligence about the morale raising ops this weekend. Mm -hmm. Should be a jolly old time. Like when Ensign used to come and rouse the troops, reminded the squaddies what they were fighting for. I remember being stationed in Algeria, and the association organized a whole day of fanfare. Unbelievable! There was Fatima the Snake Charmer, the ever-popular Monkey Toss competition, even a couscous eating contest. Which reminds me, I expect you to be at the fair when I display my digestive prowess. <laughs> the pie-eating contest, Private. You must have seen the sign-up sheet in town. Nobody will challenge the great major, though. I shall be uncontested. They don't call me Cool Hand Crumb for nothing, you know. Okay, so we'll just leave you to that, Major, while I just go to town. Excuse me. 
Hello, Gromit lad. How's Mr. Wallace? Have you heard about the fundraiser? I've never been to a proper town fair before. Uh, yeah, I'm sure this fun fair will come to... This fundraiser, sorry, will come to... Uh, we'll have a point of it later. Monty Muzzle's fundraiser fair. Oh. Did I take that? Can I look at that? I think Major Crumb has signed up for something. I'm not quite sure what it is. out for walkies. Certainly a grand day for it. Anything I can do for you? Town's a buzz with the fundraiser this weekend, isn't it? About time somebody did something to build a new dog shelter. Ooh, I've had run-ins with all sorts of strays of late. Terriers, spaniels, mutts, even an Irish wolfhound. Should have seen the size of him when he went for me pork scratchings on top shelf. Sent me tumbling backwards and brought me awning crashing down. Ooh, I gave him what for and no mistake. Ah, uh, you mean you opened your gob and poor brute took fright. Ooh, mind your business and quit interrupting. This is why you haven't got any friends and spend all day talking to the birds. <laughs> I'm just in need of some intelligent company. Anyway, it's high time town got together to put the shelter back up. Wouldn't you say, Chuck? Yeah. Okay, um, I realise anybody who's watching this might be a little bit confused as to who these characters are. Uh, the shopkeeper we just talked to is Mr. Pania, who um, runs that shop across the street and... Uh, in the first episode, um, Wallace accidentally destroyed his shop with a little contraption he had. Um, but he's been useful. He's been useful. Um, all of them have. Uh, and, he, and of course, as you can see there, he runs purveyors of peculiar produce. In the last episode, he had a bit of an uh, affinity for candy floss. Uh, here is Mr. and Mrs. Gabberly. Uh, they fight quite a bit. Uh, you can see Mr. I was going to say Mr. Mr. Gobshite then, but Mr. Gabberly is up in the window there. And, of course, you never actually see Mr. Gabberly now, think about it, in the in these episodes. He's always in the window. Uh, and, of course, the army major we met over there is Major Crumb, who's had some interesting stories, to say the least. Can I do anything in your shop, Mrs. Gabberly? I'm glad summit is finally being done to get these dogs off the streets. A proper fundraiser. Ooh, I love the fair. Fried treats, all sorts of sweets. I can't get enough. <laughs> That's for certain. Ooh, you. Okay, um... I can't remember this guy's name. Officer, I want to say, I want to say Dibbly. I think that's where the name was. Looking forward to this weekend's fair. Should be a riot. And all for a good cause to boot. Okay, you say absolutely nothing of use. Um, what is that? Fundraiser fair helped the hounds this weekend only. Aw, oh, poor things. Every ticket purchased feeds a puppy for a fortnight. Aw. Yeah, I'm sure. Do I'm sure the um, dogs in our house currently will love that. Oh, hello. Oh, these are the dogs from um, the last episode. From what I remember, from what we remember, they injured um, another character we haven't seen yet in this one, uh, Mister McBiscuit. Uh, yeah, so it was basically like a little bit of a who done it, a murder mystery type thing. Um, where the dogs were responsible for it. So long, Ivan. Gromit just looks so confused. Oh, can I take your biscuits? Those are my biscuits, Private, and very delicious they are too. Can't share them with you though. For optimal nutritional efficiency, today's soldiers must stick to their rations. So, no wiki wikis for you, I'm afraid. Oh, tremendous flavor. Guess. Do we have any items we can, uh... 
Oh, it's a pie eating contest sign up form. Okay. Ah, yes, as I said before, I'm unopposed. They fear me, Private, just like those curs in the desert. Wait until they see me in front of a tower of pies. They'll shake in their boots with shock and awe. Ooh, actually, I've got an idea. What if we try and... What if we're supposed to get other people to sign up for this? Hello, Gromit lad. How's Mr. Wallace? What's this? A pie-eating contest? Crikey. Don't know about that. Trying to keep trim these days. Afraid I'll have to pass on the pies. Thank you, Gromit. Okay, so he doesn't want to. Uh, Mrs. Gabberly? Hello there. Inventory. What you got there, Chuck? A pie-eating contest. Well, isn't that festive? Me? Oh, I don't know about that. I, I do love the odd meat pie, but a scoffing contest? That wouldn't be ladylike, would it? <laughs> You've trouble enough appearing ladylike without a meat pie in your gob. He's a guest. Oh, do I? Tell that to Horseman. He seemed quite taken with me this morning. It's only because he's got an eye defect. Oh, shut up, you curmudgeonly codger. You know what, Chuck? I will sign up for the contest. I think it's a splendid idea. And I plan on winning. In a most ladylike fashion, naturally. Let's see. Oh, just me and the Major, is it? Hmm. He's no match for Winnie Gabberly. Mm -hmm. There you go, Gromit. I expect you to attend my victory party. I don't know about you, but Mr. Gabberly seems a bit toxic. What do you reckon? Uh, officer? Oh, Officer Dibbins, not Dibbly. I'm thinking of the Vicar of Dibbly for some reason. Ah, Winnie versus the Major, eh? Should be a sight to see. Okay, so he doesn't want to sign up. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back and see if we can deal with the doggos. Okay, on, we'll, we'll need his biscuits, but I don't quite know how to... How to get them at the moment. Uh, let's go in the, let's go in the house. Oh, actually... Go back out. Miss Split. Hello. Back, are you? I hope you've a plan to get your little friend out of my garden. Yeah, Don't I'm gonna... Woo and Tinky Wee may have their mischievous moments, but they knew better than to rummage in my roses. Yeah, oh, got a plan. Do you want to go... Do you want to have any pike? Action around here. Yeah, I'm Don't not again. I'm not touching that one. That is right now. There's a crisis in my garden. Yeah, as I said, I'm not touching that one. I mean, it's current year, Miss Flit. You can do it yourself. Um. Oh, we've been in here, haven't we? Oh, crikey. Um, I think that's more sugar than... Wait, what's that? what was that? Oh, here we go. Okay, Pooch Quarterly, obedient issue, 50 ways to tame your terrier, 6 hungry dogs love to dig, break the nasty habit with a tasty treat. Uh, horror story, can I read any more of this? Can I click on anything? Uh, I don't think I can. Okay. 
Alright, anything I can take in here? Why don't we show Wallace the pie eating contest for him? What's this? Oh, I'm not one for pie-eating contests, Gromit. Someone with an even larger appetite than mine would be interested in that. Yeah, I think what because Wallace is. I think you're more of a cheese kind of guy, aren't you? Ah, oh, doggo with the bunny. Doggo with bunny. Where does it actually go? Okay, so I can't... Okay. Alright, do I show that magazine to Wallace, maybe? Maybe I'll have an idea. Down one crank, one lever, a busted flavor scanner, and left with a broken pile of bolts full of cream. Hmm. Again, if anybody's played this before, you're welcome to shout anything out if I've missed anything obvious. Hmm. No, that's a newspaper we've already read. That hard work held up by a few rogue whippets. What have you seen there, Gromit? Nope. All right, anything I can take. We're already stuck. This is not a good sign. There's got to be something in this house I'm missing. Mr. Wallace? Miss Fit from next door here. For the last 45 minutes, I've been trying to read the same page in my book. Not only to be interrupted by the incessant clatter that seems to be emanating from your cellar. I quite understand that an inventor is entitled to do his inventing in the privacy of his own home. But the banging, popping, creaking and odd explosions really must stop. Oh, but what's that livestock? Honestly, Wallace. This has always been a respectable street. What was he doing? This is a travesty. This is definitely tricky. Right, so we can't do anything in these two rooms. Where does he go when he runs? Is That's where... Curious thing I want to know. Can you use that rocket booster with anything? No. I don't think that's a rocket booster. It's like... Is that like nitrogen or something? I don't know. Right, anything I can use in here? It's really an ingenious idea. 
custom flavor technology that yeah he said that already is there something on here that I'm missing careful grommet the infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank Ah, I think I understand what I'm meant to do now. So if I take that... Um, maybe knock him out again. Careful, Gromit. The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Oh, poor thing. I've given the poor thing heart attacks. Oh, God. Quickly put that on. Oh. He gets up. Uh, maybe best not to do that for now, then. Yeah. Maybe best not to do that for now. What's he got there, lad? I think he's helped himself to our valuable. He's like, what it, why have you taken my crank, you bastard? Happy as Larry now. Okay, I need to keep him in place then to stop him from... That's the problem though, he goes over... Careful, he goes over the... The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Okay, if we knock him out again, if we knock him out again and quickly put that on before he wakes up. Any luck with the mischief makers? No, he does it regardless. Okay. So we need something to keep him out of action. Smashing lad, oh crank. Good heavens, he's quick. He really does love that crank, doesn't he, Gromit? <laughs> oh, careful, Gromit. Okay. Yeah, don't immediately take the crank off him. And instead... Need a crank to chew. And instead... Up here to work. Careful, Gromit. The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. What if... To Wallace. Thief's got some of our most treasured possessions, and he seems to know that our not too long because I was chatting to Wallace. Careful, Grom.
right now quickly. Present that to Wallace quick. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Hmm. Let's have a look see. Okay, so it's got to be something to do with that there. All that hard work fouled up by a few rogue whippets. Careful, Gromit. The Infini flavor mo. What do we do with that now? Ah, yeah, he's got more. He's going to rob us out of house and home. Can I take anything? No, we don't know. He cannot. We. Um, Oy vey. Careful of the ice cream sign, Gromit. The paint's still wet. Lucky those types didn't topple me paint bucket. That would have been a mess and no mistake. Okay, so. What if I did something with that then? Leave that bucket of paint there if you don't mind that. Okay, so it's something to do with that paint in the sign. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. I think I've... Okay. Oh, I think I see what this game's driving at. Okay, so he's got things that are gold. So what if we changed it to something that wasn't gold? I think I've cracked this here. I see. Uh, let's try that, shall we? He's like, ew, blue. Okay, so that's two problems out of four sorted, I believe. Hmm. Let's have a look. Oh, actually. Oh yeah, Major Crumb said he had uh, the um, he went on challenge, didn't he, for that? Okay. Da -da -da -da. Hello, pilot. Uh, Major, I think you've got an opponent. The pie-eating contest. Nobody's signed up yet to take on the mighty Major Crumb. Pity. I'd love to meet another man. Toe-to-toe -to -toe on the field of battle. Mano a mano feasting to the death until the best man wins. Edwina? She thinks she can out-eat the likes of me. Ho, ho, ho! That's a good one, Private. I'd love to see her staring down the barrel of a ketchup bottle. There's just no way she can win. Impossible. She could never. <laughs> These blinking biscuits. I've been munching on them all day. They're going to fill me up. Private! Attention! Get rid of these vile things! I've got to prepare for battle! My guts must be ready for all the pie I can throw at them if I'm going to crush that woman. She's challenged the wrong man! Battle stations! He means he's going to take a shit. <laughs> I'm so immature sometimes. Let's go grab the biscuits, and I think I know where we might be able to use them.
Da 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 da. I have a plan, Miss Flit. What are you going to do about this Whippet's grievous gardening? Hm? Uh, I believe I know exactly what I'm going to do. Good heavens, Gronit! Now you're just rewarding him for foul behaviour. What if? Okay. What if we tossed it on there? How many biscuits have we got? Yoink! Back in you go. Oh, you did it! Thank goodness! You've rid my garden of the nasty little rascal and with little damage. Now be sure it never happens again. I don't want to see any more of your canine companions on my property. Do you understand? Clear, crystal clear, madam. Ooh. Okay. Uh, okay, we haven't got the pie-eating form anymore. Okay, so we've got the other pass. So I think our machine can get up and running now. La da 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 dee. Da 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 da. I suppose that lever does look a bit like an old bone, doesn't it? No wonder the crafty canine went and buried it. Give a dog a bone and into the ground it goes. It's their nature. Oh no, did our fastening nut go missing? It holds the lever in place. It's a critical part of the apparatus, Gromit. Oh, this is no good, lad. That was my last number 12. What rotten luck. Oh, nuts to that. Hello. Oh, you brought it back. Mm -hmm. Good little lad. Look at that. He found our nut. Fantastic, Gromit. Uh, perhaps I was a bit hard on him before. I didn't know the little one had a penchant for tinkering. Oh, he's just afraid. Heavens above, he's a positively petrified pooch. Poor little lad. We ought to call him Twitch. <laughs> well, see Twitch, you've got your little mascot there. If you've already got one. And there we have it, lad. Uncrossed a few crossed wires and our flavour engraver is as good as new. Now we ought to be back in business. Up we go, lads. Nothing can stop our infinny flavour ice cream from taking off now. Hmm? Bit late for the post, eh? Oh, hello there. Uh, can I help you? Oh, good heavens, no. The question is rather, how can I help you? Name's Muzzle. Monty Muzzle. Philatelist, philosopher, philanthropist, and purveyor of fairground amusement. I hope by now you've heard about Monty Muzzle's Save the Dogs fundraiser fair to be held this weekend. Oh, uh, yes, we have. Uh, Gromit and I were just... Oh, uh... glad to hear it. I was deeply saddened to hear of your recent tragedy, and I'm making it my duty as a dedicated and devoted dog lover to help you all raise the necessary funds to repair your canine shelter. Imagine all those precious animals out on the streets. A tragedy. What a shame for all those dogs. But Gromit and I might have the perfect contribution for the fair. We were just putting the finishing touches on our patent-pending Infini Flavor ice cream machine. Ice cream, you say? Ooh, who doesn't love ice cream? The creamy coldness, the satisfying sweetness, the profit margins. 
And our, our machine has custom flavor technology. Hmm. Its flavor scanner extracts taste molecules from any sample provided. We're able to make limitless varieties to suit any customer. Limitless? My, that does sound impressive. Oh, Bayek, Mr. Walrus. I know a good money-making opportunity when I smell it. What do you say to this? With my financial firepower and your unique ice cream maker, we could put an Infini Flavor retail outlet on every beachfront from Blackpool to Bognor Regis. The world will be your Knickerbocker glory. Back up. Franchising. Do you hear that, lad? We could be ice cream barons. If you bring your invention to the fair and manage to make a hefty contribution for this most needed, um, uh, uh, oh yeah, dog shelter. It's a deal. Gromit and I couldn't be more excited. Oh, our in-house creamery assures us peak freshness. Speaking of the dogs, Gromit and I have come across three little lads who need new lodgings. Well, look at that. Aren't they the most precious things you've ever seen? My charity begins now, and I've got the perfect home for them. Yeah, quick-looking devils, too. Well, I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Willard. Walk is. Come on, you. Your new home awaits. Oh. I don't want to actually... Oh, go, lad. Uh, say goodbye. Oh, poor little lad. I just almost want to cry. Be seeing you and your contraption at the fair, Mr. Wallace, and uh, be sure to bring your wallet. Also, back up, did you just call me a walrus before? Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monty Muzzle's Fundraise Affair. It fair warms my heart to see so many charitable souls here today. So let me warm yours by selling you a handful of tickets, available for a nominal fee, the proceeds of which will put a smile on the face of a homeless and abandoned puppy. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, them tickets is good for every attraction. You can fry your favorite food, take on a chicken in a game of wits, or ride the mighty muzzler. Every penny goes to charity, every ticket, in short, will wag a tail. I say, Gromit, isn't this a thrill and such a noble cause, rebuilding a shelter for your canine companions? Mm, Gromit can tell there's something not quite... Oh, your new chum must have dropped his toy in excitement. I bet the little fella's having a grand day out. Probably never been to a fair before. Grand Day Out was actually the name of one of the Wallace and Gromit shorts in 1988, hey, I think. That must be the remains of one of the flies that was blowing around this morning. I can't abide litter, so I tore it up and offered it as slips of paper to the punters. Here are some tickets, lad. Go and find your friends and have some fun. <laughs> yeah, something's not quite on the level, and I think Gromit can sense that. Dun, dun, dun. Have a pie to enter, do you? Give it here, and I'll get to it in due time. Quite the turnout of entries I've got. Bound to find a master of ceremonies in here somewhere. That mighty muzzler. Let's have a look at the pies. No use sniffing about for a competitive edge. These pies are all absolutely disgusting. Didn't take you for the cheating sort. Willing to do anything to get ahead, are you? You'd cheat a little old lady out of a baking contest just to win your five minutes of fame as this afternoon's master of ceremonies. Who are you talking then to, me or yourself? You doing, nosing about these entries. Uh... Keep to your own entry. But knowing what you filthy creatures are prepared to wolf down, I can't imagine you've much of a discerning palate. 
I have a feeling Mr. Muzzler's not on... Now, Mr. where was I with this filth? I have a feeling Mr. Muzzler's not on the level. What a man! Selfless, heroic, charitable... I sympathise with your misconception. Hello, Gromit. Enjoying the fair? Must be easy to enjoy such simple pleasures when you're a dog. Not knowing the pain of unrequited love. You just wander through life, sniffing and scratching your way to happiness. While I must endure the loneliness of living without a man worthy of my hand. Oh. But then there is Mr. Muzzle. Raising all of those funds for our poor, homeless pups. I've never seen such altruism in all my years. He may be of meagre means himself, but he's rich in other ways. Oh, and what a handsome partner he'd make. Certainly compared to the rest of the town's buffoons. Are there no real men here worthy of the name? I want someone strong, brilliant, and brave to lavish me with praise. For instance, I had my hair done this morning, and did anyone notice? Not one of them. I'm sure Mr. Muzzle would have, had he not been so busy. But what does a woman have to do to attract attention? Ah, uh, You got me there. The life of Muzzle. Montgomery Mr. Muzzle spent most of his earliest and most joyous years in Mother's renowned chip shop. Okay. Hmm, fish and chips, my lifelong favourite. Ever the caring soul, he took a great joy in sharing his dinner with those less fortunate. With the dogs? no, Less. And so began the life of a boy who knew he had much more to give than fish and chips. My first heroics. Early Heroics It began as a typical day for Monty Muzzle, but fate would soon intervene. Oh my darling, somebody please help! Tally-ho, Muzzle will save you, pretties. That's not his voice and I don't care. Or perish trying! Bravery triumphs and the puppies are saved. Okay, and finally, my life's calling. Tragedy. The market crashed, a man devastated. A will, a way, a plan. He would turn his misfortune into a fortune for others. Thus was born the magnanimous Monty Muzzle Bun Razor Pair. Okay, so basically it's him just a bit arty farty bollocks. 14, 100, 15, 100, 16. Hmm. Let's see. Count this row across. Assume that the jar is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. Can't be certain. 
Okay, so what exactly is he trying to do? 194, 195, 190. Oh, bother, I've lost count now. Hello, Gromit. I'm sorry, I'm just ever so keen to win the grand prize. Normally, I'm very skilled at counting produce in his shop, so I reckon this booth is my best chance of success. I've entered 12 guesses already, and I know it's for charity and all, but these tickets don't come cheap. I'm back to counting, if you don't mind. Okay, can I mess with anything on the machine? Look at them all. Heaven knows how many there are in there. Hmm. Can we make a guess? Don't think a little teamwork is against the rules, eh? Yeah, you have a go. Okay, so if we use the sliders... Uh, I think I'm going to take a guess and say no I would say like how many original Pokemon there are Right, so, um, 151 if you count Mew. All right, Gromit. Seems as good a guess as any. That's completely wrong. Oh, crumbs. Well, good try anyway, I suppose. Right. Right. Okay. As I say, I am going to try and figure most of this stuff out myself. But if I'm getting really stuck just to keep the pace going, I've got a bit of a, I've got a strategy guy next to me. So I want, I don't want to use it unless I have to. But we, um, as I say, I want to try and figure some stuff out myself. Like me days in the RAF, biggest thrill I've had in years. <laughs> okay. Oh look, it's um, knobhead, knobhead face. Wisdom from the other side. Just can I find the right plumbing words? Ah, oh, just look at her. Right around that monkey muzzle's booth of accomplishments. She's smitten, she is. By him. Disgusting. Makes me so angry, I could blow me top. Ooh, I'm Monty Muzzle. I'm the most charitable, sensitive gentleman there ever was. I'm a blooming hero. <laughs> Big pile of wet less, if you ask me. Well, I wouldn't... What do you want, Mutt? Can't you see I'm working here? She wants a sensitive man, does she? Well, that's what Miss Flit will be getting. I'm composing her a poem. Near finished, too, except for the last line. Got the whole thing memorized, even. I just cannot write the ending. Okay. Dearest Felicity, your eyes are as deep as the murkiest log. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool Rock. Your haunches are sturdy. Your baron is bold. Ugh, I've got nothing. Look at me. Talking to a dog. Ah, going crazy, you are, McVisky. Now, moggy off and let a man work. Okay, so... He needs something with ri that rhymes with bold. Uh... Imagine your life with less strife. Mm. 
Your nose could be mistaken for a slippery penguin. Well, don't throw it away. That could have been useful. Uh, are you smarter than a chicken? Okay, this is basically like tic-tac-toe or noughts and crosses. So, okay. If we do that. Alright, what's in the middle? Hmm. Because there's two ways he can go here. We'll block off that one. I think you are actually meant to win, but I th uh... Yeah. Let me try that again. I know I'm not smarter than a chicken, but we'll try that again. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. How did he win? I completely missed that. We'll get that one more go. Ah, oh, we did it diagonally, didn't we? Feeding time for one of my golden geese. Oh, another loss, eh? Oh, I'm sure you'll win eventually. <laughs> oh, this is rigged, isn't it? Okay, so that's something... That is something to come back to. Uh... Can we find the pups? I don't believe we can. At least not at the minute. Yeah, at least not at the moment, anyway. They just don't make men the way they used to. Let's Except see if we go back Mr. to. Muzzle, can we go back to town? Yes, we can. There you are, you coochie coos, you! Ah, the missus says I need more mates, does she? <laughs> well, I've got the birds in sky and bugs on sill to keep me company. You won't find me making up numbers at some flipping fair. Good, because you're not invited. Here, birdie. Come to Papa Gabberly. Okay, so free balloons. I'll be grabbing them. Grabbing one of them. Uh... Aldean Cinemas, A Fair to Remember, Gone with the Whippers, Puppelian. Hmm, wonder if that actually means something. Ooh, was that, was that rubbish bin here before? Bubble Gumballs, 300 cap. Ooh. Go, go. Ooh, can I take the bird feed? Yes! Right, let's um, talk to uh, Mrs. Gabberly. Hello. Hello, Chuck. Looks like the fair's in full swing. I'll be popping over later to take part in the big contest. I'll have the Major quaking in his boots, I will. <laughs> nice. Is the officer here? Yes, he is. Having a good time at the fair, at least. Uh, no. Should have been there myself, but that sergeant's got me out on patrol. Not that much doing in town. Still, 
Better get on. I'm on duty. Hmm. Flipping, Nora. Not sure how much more of this I can stand. Mr. Bonilla said that there's even a ride. A proper ride, and here I am stuck on blinking duty all day. Not blooming fair, it's not. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Lost me head there for a moment. Forgot I were on duty. Let's get back to work. Okay, remember how many things were in that gumball. And I think we could use that bird feed for the um, chicken game. Okay, so we'll sort here, out... Pigeon, over here. Okay, we'll sort out Mr. Paneer first. Well, I've got the number in my head. 119, 120, 131, 122. I don't think a little teamwork is against the rules, eh? Here, you have a go. Trust me, mate, carnival games are absolutely rigged, so I would not worry about it. I don't think I've actually ever won anything in a carnival game. I, th I think I've probably tried at some point years ago, but never actually won anything. Okay, so it was 300. All right, Bromit. Seems as good a guess as any. Hmm. 300 was a mighty good guess, lad. Seems close to me. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's have a little look at that one. No getting in there to count them, that's for sure. I've already tried. And Mr. Muzzle weren't none too happy. Ooh, okay, so there could be more than that in there. I've been keeping my tallies on the back of this flyer for hours, Drummond. It's not leaving my sight until I've a grand prize in my hands. Okay. All right, so... It, okay. That it could be something to come back to. Let's go with the chicken feed again to see if we um, have any Enemy better down. luck over yeah. here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's try playing the game again. Just do pretty much any old sh any old thing at this point. He's won regardless. Uh, can he use the bird feed now? Okay, so that's made things a bit easier. Ooh, okay. Okay, so he wins there regardless. All right. Okay, so we've got bird seeds still. Alright then. So can we use this again? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, I'm getting I'm seeing what this game's driving at. Okay, how about here? Okay. 
and just block it off there. Okay. And if I do this one here. I almost feel bad, but this seems to be working. Nice. And I've got a goldfish. What I do with this, I do not know. Uh, let's go back into town and see if we can do anything in particular. Da, 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 da. Let's see if there's anything we can particularly do in Wallace's house. Maybe there's something to do with the pies here, I wonder. Um, kidney, potato. Is a notice on there gone? Yes, it is. Uh, so how about we go with potato pie? Can we do more than one of them, I wonder? Let's try kidney pie. Have we got more than one pie? No, no, that overrides. Okay, so we'll go back to the potato pie then. Okay, let me, let's go back to the streets and, uh, because I have a feeling there's something with that packet I missed. Right, okay, so let's go back to the rubbish bin again. I think I missed something there. Okay, so how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so 300 minus 8. So that would be... 292? My math's not great, but we can try that. You can spot those back there. So 292. I don't think a little teamwork is against the rules, eh? Yeah, you have a go. Okay. Wrong way. Two ninety two. Let's try that. That seemed like it could almost be right, Grommet. Cross your toes, lad. These are the last of the tickets. Congratulations. You are the winner of a grand and fantabulous prize. Heck, we did it! Fantastic! We won, Gromit! Congratulations, sir. Very well done. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mosul. Look quite a bit of brain power it did. So, what's the grand and fantabulous prize then, Mr. Mosul? I must say, I can't wait to see what I've won. Yes, well, um, yeah, just as it's always better to give than receive, um, I say the satisfaction of your triumph. 
plus our undying gratitude for the charitable donation you've made towards our noble cause, our prizes in and of and um, by themselves, wouldn't you say, Mr. Panier? Chuck. You don't have a prize, do you? They're all very well, but I thought prizes that last a lifetime. Up here and in here. But, but, but what the sign says? Oh, quit belly aching your big girl's blouse. <laughs> oh, um, it, it's hardly fitting for a gentleman such as yourself. Here, have a blinking bubble gum ball. What? What? Oh, all right. And one for the mutt as well. Okay, if I have a feeling that'll come useful. Okay, let's just grab that. Ooh. Okay, so we've got two pieces of that flyer. Monty Muzzle's fundraiser fair. Okay, they look like they could be glasses. Help. Wait a second. I have a feeling that could be a potential cry for help. They just don't make men the way they used to. Gromit, where have Except you gone? for Mr. Muzzle, of course. I don't really fancy chewing gum. Take care. There he is. Oh, the events for charity. But I spent all of my tickets for this one blooming ball of bubblegum. Well, that's kind of your own fault, lad, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. we got to do something with this. No, I can't say we do anything with that. Yes. Ugh, disgusting. Ugh. Okay, what do we do? What do we do with this then? We use that in Monty Muzzle. All right, this doesn't look immediately disgusting. Hmm. There, there is uh, something here that isn't immediately foul. A faint hint of a taste of something that sparks, uh, dare I say, a not totally unpleasant memory. It's the unmistakable taste of mushy potato, which, in and of itself, is delicate and unique. Hmm. Yeah, well, it, it's not quite there yet. So take it back, and perhaps you can improve. Although, as a mere canine pie maker, I imagine that was no doubt your best attempt. <laughs> An accident, perhaps. And also, oh, no cream. No a la mode, even. Uh, clearly not a serious entry, after all. Okay. So maybe... We need something... We need some cream. Very peculiar. Can I cl climb up there? Hey, there, you meddling mutt. What are you doing up on this stage? Get down at once. I'm the only one allowed up on stage. The only other person allowed to disport themselves on my stage is the master of ceremonies of the grand pie eating contest. And somehow I don't think with your limited canine brain. You'll be able to create a pie deliciously mouth-watering enough to win the Bake Off and receive that honour. So, if you don't mind, sling your blinking hook. Me and the Master of Ceremonies. I.e., not you, big ears. Oh, I really hope this guy gets his comeuppance because he's getting on my you nerves. Oh, Gromit. Isn't a fair Gromit? Mr. Muzzle's put on quite a show, and the Infini flavor's a real crowd pleaser. We're gonna get that dog shelter rebuilt in no time. Are we now? Um, do we do anything with this? Make whatever you like, lad. It says it he says it needs cream, does it? And we happen to have an ice cream machine here. and ice cream. Two great tastes. Uh, that should work out splendidly.
Ooh. Yeah, as I mentioned before, if you've watched the 1995 one, A Close Shave, you'll recognise the gun they use at the front of that van. Yeah, it's the porridge gun. Um, I watched, the, watched that again a few weeks ago. It's um, interesting, to say the least. Shut up, Major Crumb. Uh, yeah, this was the one where Sean the Sheep was introduced. I haven't watched the Ron Trousers or a Grand Day out yet. I mean, I've watched them years ago, but I've not watched them uh, since I got this new Blu-ray. Um, I believe I saw a Matter of Loaf and... I've not seen a Matter of Loaf and Death since it came out, which was, what, over 12 years ago now, probably? Yeah. Okay, let's see if uh, Monty McMuzzleface can... Uh... Oh, hold on. Oh, is it already in the ice cream? In the pie, rather. All right, this doesn't look immediately disgusting. Mmm, yeah, yes. This, uh, this flavour does not spark an immediate heartache. Quite the contrary, in fact. Uh, the unmistakable flavour of savoury potato brings me back. But my trip down memory lane is soon derailed by uh, mushy crust and texture. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, well, you're on the right track, dog. But take this back and see if you can improve. Okay, so he doesn't like ice cream. He's a little bit of a cheeky get, isn't he? Mmm. How about... Can't be bothered with that, Private. A man must enjoy his rest and recreation time. <laughs> Excuse me, nobody asked you. Blam, blam. <laughs> uh, I don't think that would taste very good, would it, lad? I mean, fish-flavoured ice cream? Who ever heard of such a thing? Unless... You, uh... Haven't made a new feline friend, have you, perchance? Oh, well, uh, yes, then. Uh, one fish-flavoured ice cream coming up. Uh, step to it, lad. So wait, is he actually shoving the goldfish in there? Oh, God. Rest in peace, goldfish. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Enemy down. Put in the cart before the horse, are we? I do prefer the entries to have a side of cream. But usually the entry comes first. But here, here, here. let me have it. Mmm. Mmm. Most intriguing. Is this uh, fish? Mmm. You were going to try to feed me fish flavored ice cream. Why, what, what, what a unique idea. Is there any chance of you pairing this with something equally stirring? You might have a shot at uh, the title. I'll keep this here. And you can add your pie when you've got it. Hmm. Before we do that as of yet, I think we'll try and see Go what we can do bus. with... Use your noodle! Hmm. Don't leave your fate to chance. By a bulk. Ooh, what's behind here? All right, yeah, create a clairvoyant cornfish. Another chicken. Let's see what you have to see. Hello. Cravens, what a bunch of rubbish. Oh, crap. Okay. So... 
Ah, I think I see what we're doing here. So we can choose what fortune. Uh, the Mr. M Biscuit can uh, use as a thing for his poem. Uh, okay, so she. Oh God, what's his, what's the name? Miss Flit uh, mentioned how none of the guys noticed her hair, so maybe we'll do something with her hair. Your hair smells of patch of mold. No, pirate's gold. No, a blubbery whale, <laughs> a slippery penguin. Scurvy, an abandoned puppy, smells of the common cold. Uh, that's about the nicest thing I can probably find on there, so let's try that. Yeah, what a load of nonsense. What a load of nonsense. Oh, screw you, biscuit. Could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Could we try that? Let's see if this fortune's got anything useful for my poem. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Ah. That's no half bad, that is. I just work. I'm a blinking genius, I am. No need for these rotten lines. I've got a perfect one right here. Hello there, Felicity. Oh, hello, Duncan. You look ravishing today. Why, thank you, Duncan. In fact, I've written you a poem in honor of your astounding beauty. What? You've written a poem? Every last word. Really? Technically, I wrote Let's the last hear bit. It, then. <clears throat> Dearest Felicity, your eyes are as deep as the murkiest loch. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool Rock. Your haunches are sturdy, your bearing is bold, and your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. I don't know what to say. Brilliant, eh? You, you noticed my hair. I did. Oh, Duncan. Who could have guessed you're so sensitive and attentive to detail? Aye. My rugged Highland handsomeness may fool some, but inside, I'm nothing more than a caring and loving lamb. Come here, my little sugar plum fairy. Okay. okay. Loving lamb that's been rolling around in the barnyard too long, if my nose isn't mistaken. Oh, that's just my unique musk. Let's go down and stare longingly into each other's eyes. She's trying to say you smell like shit. Again, Gromit doesn't get the credit for doing the work. Okay. Save the dogs. Something inside. Help. Hmm. Bit peculiar, this. Okay, let's, uh... Let's maybe use that with the ice cream. All right, this doesn't look immediately disgusting. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Did you, this, uh, this flavor does not, not just spark give me this immediate heartache. heartache. Quite the contrary fact. The lower my stomach, saying that this is just potato brings me back 
the other winner of my trip and down memory lane is soon derailed or by some a crusted texture. Pastry. I said you were onto something. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're on the right you're track, not there, yeah. But take this back and see if you can improve. Okay, so we need to do something else with the pie. Uh, hmm. Let's see what we... Uh, let's have a little nose around and see. What's that? Will it fry? Now, the biscuit mentioned Blackpool Rock. Um, if there's any, I don't know if it exists in anywhere other than the UK, but international viewers, I think, I think what he was trying to say there. Well, actually, let me double check that before I do. Before I may uh, make a fool of myself. I think I know what he was referring to. I was going to say, I thought he was referring to the um, Blackpool Rock. Um, like the little can, like the can, the little candy sticks you get, like a multicolored candy sticks that you get in the um, Blackpool Seaside. I think you get them in other places as well, like um, Southport, Brighton, pretty much anywhere that has a seaside, you can probably get rock there somewhere yeah that's what he's referring to so he's not she's not he's not saying that she's got teeth like a mat like a boulder blam, blam. I don't know about you, but um, I don't know what to say about deep fried potato pie. I mean, I saw that Mr. Muzzle has a fryer. Ooh, I could murder a handful of crisps. Who doesn't like fried potatoes, eh, lad? Yeah, um, you're absolutely what right, is Wallace. This when it's at home? Oh, rhubarb with a hint of dirt and diesel. I don't know, but that sounds absolutely disgusting. Um, what was I going to say? I do order steak and ki kidney pie at the chippy sometimes. It's quite nice. Uh, crisp pie on Monty Muzzle. Ah, this looks like a complete entry. The moment of truth arrives. Well, this is, uh, yes, yes, resplendent. I've never tasted a pie quite like this. A savoury crust, enhanced by a one-of-a-kind flavour, if I am not mistaken, of lightly battered cod. Oh, yes. Your entry triggers deep, unhappy memories. Oh, I can see myself as a slip of a lad behind the counter in a mother's chippy. I'm the happiest lad there's ever been, eating complimentary portions of freshly fried North Sea cod and chips. Stew Stop it, you're making me hungry. How you did it, dog, I'll never know. But you've won. Congratulations. You're the first beast to become the master of ceremonies of the pie-eating contest. I'll be meeting you on stage then. Time to get this pie-eating contest underway. Okay, so up on the stage we go. Hmm. Let's grab that first. Gather round, ladies and gentlemen, gather round. Our first order of business is to celebrate this fine figure of a dog as winner of the pie baking contest. That's a boy, Chuck. I knew you could do it. Hey! <laughs> and to honor this achievement, Fido here will preside as master of ceremonies of the pie-eating contest to commence shortly. I'm here. The Major doesn't stand a chance. Ha! I once ate a kidney pie the size of a Shetland pony. 
And I had room for dessert and coffee. Your starter's pistol, doggo. And now, I'd just like to say a few words. Where are me blinking notes? Mm, you were up here just a minute ago. <clears throat> yeah, well, um, it's not every day that tragedy strikes a helpless town like this. But I'm most honored to be here in your moments of need to help you all collect enough funds to rebuild the orphanage. Um, uh, that is, uh, the orphanage for lost dogs. And I'm delighted to say that I haven't seen such an outpouring of charitable giving among fair goers since, well, since, uh, 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 since uh, uh, the great Lancashire earthquake of, uh, oh, let me see now, uh, uh, some, uh, yes, some years ago. I don't remember hearing about that. Ah, uh, oh, dreadful it was. Teapots tossed from their cozies. Sheep shaken right out of their fleeces. Most dreadful indeed. So, keep up the good work here today, and be sure to spend, spend, spend at our wonderful attractions, as it's all in such a very, very good cause. Now, without further ado, uh, Colonel Crumbs and uh, Mrs. Gobbledygook uh, will go head-to-head -head in the pie-eating contest. Now, Mutt, pull the trigger. Save the dogs. Help Muzzle in... Wait. Hold on. Okay. Help inside something say the wait a minute. Ooh. Inside the muzzler. By heck, it's been a busy week. Just one good deed after another. First, I takes in three homeless hounds. Then I helps the town. Do-gooders cough up the cash for a noble cause. <laughs> yeah. And now I've trapped me a tricksy little trespasser. Now listen here, mutt. I built this fair up from the sweat of me brow and a pile of scrap. And if you think I'm gonna let a molly-coddled mongrel chuck a spanner in the works, you don't know Monty Muzzle. Aye, your time on wheel comes soon enough. And being man's best friend, you wouldn't want to stop the ride and disappoint your punters now, would you? But until it's your turn, you can blink him well, stay put. Oh, and don't start whining and yelping for help. You'll have my security system to deal with if you don't keep the noise down. Which is a giant... Ch was it just a chicken? Okay. So, this isn't good. We're locked up with, uh... Oh dear. Okay, so one of the dogs from before who seems a little bit too happy about his current situation. Uh we you well can we obviously no we can't open this door. Uh can you use anything else before I use that cup? Oh, sugar. What is it? What's going on in here? Up to something in here, are we? No. Down, Mutt. It's not your dinner time yet. Hmm. Seems to have been a false alarm. But I'll be back in here at the drop of a hat. 
if there's any monkey business. Okay, so we need to get that key off him. Do I still have my items? Okay, so we still have the chicken feed. We have the notes from Twitch. We have the starter's gun. The gumball. Do we have the... I thought, I'm sure we had a balloon which we've lost. Um, fire that at the cup. No. Um, sorry, Flitcher. Forgive me. Oh, he doesn't like loud noises if you remember from the start of the stream. Because um, he gets startled very easily. What's going on here? What's all the racket about? Oh, another blinking dead dog. The workshire well hadn't even been for walkies yet. <laughs> Pity. Ah, oh, get off me, you filthy beast. Oh, oh. That'll be an extra few hours pulling duty for you. No okay. more out of you. Okay, so what did that actually accomplish? Oh, good lad. You got the key. Nice. Okay, he doesn't want he doesn't want to give us it. Uh Oh boy. What do I have in here that can... Do you want the bunny? No, that won't work. Do you want... Oh, I've got to start him again, haven't I? Probably. Right, quickly grab the key before he wakes up. So can I use that on the lock? I'd imagine so. Yes, I can. And we are out. Okay. That's Preston's dog food. Another reference to a close shave. The 95 Wallace and Gromit shorts. So can I look at that? Can I take that? I oh. Gromit's not too happy about that. Can we help Twitch? Yes, the dog is... Oh, no, that's not Twitch. That's the, that's him over there. Can we get over here? Let's have a look. Oh, God. Hmm. Okay, so we can't go near him yet. What if we try going up the ladder? Um, so we need to... Disarm, how do we do that? Well, we'll click on him and see what happens. we still got some bird feed, haven't we? Okay. So let's hurry up and get down to Twitch. Oh, you poor little thing. Oh. I just want to hook the thing now quickly before he wakes up. Unlock that door. And that will not fit. Okay, what other items can we get? A wrench. A bucket. Bucket of grease. 
Let's see. Use the grease with the chicken. No. Okay, we can't do that. Can we use that with that? No. Can we use the pistol with the chicken, I wonder? No, he's paying no attention to that. Let's just go further up. Oh, oh, careful, Gromit. Okay, so that's where the wrench comes in. Or spanner, rather. Okay, so we need to do something with that. Let's save the game if we can. Um, I've forgotten how to bookmark. Oh, it's in your game. We won't, probably won't be playing this much longer. We're probably going to wrap it up for the night shortly. I did want to try and... Um, finish episode three tonight but if not it will be moved to another day all right what can we do with that can we disarm him from here okay that does nothing can i do anything for twitch no, not this guy. Not the Twitch. Um, or the fella. Digger. Nope, that's not happening. Dun, 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 Oh, don't worry, lad. I'll get you out of there. Just trying to figure out how. Can I actually get out from here? I, oh, of course I would. Of course I can't. That'd be too easy. Hmm. Um, what can I actually... Oh, hello. Use it as a makeshift shovel. Or a bone, that works too. Oi! We're slowing down already. Muzzle! Your blinking ride's not fit for service. Blinking engine must have, uh, um, <laughs> died again. Ah, there we go. He's using that, using the dogs to power the ride. Oh my god. Oh dear. Fortune. Hmm. Oh, hello. Let's coax him out again. Right, quickly grab the spanner. 
Okay, and now we need to... Mm. What if we take another cookie? thing Well, that worked. Looks like we need to grease you up, lad, like that episode off the um Simpsons. Oh, hello, Twitch. Uh, Gromit was looking for you. Enjoying the bath? Oh, I see. You'd like to have a go on the ride? Well, I don't know. Where the heck's Gromit? He should be showing you around. No? Well, I suppose I can take a break. Let's go. Wallace, what are you doing? I don't know if they let dogs on board, Twitch. Steady on. I know it's not fair, Twitch, but we can always ask. E easy there, boy. Got quite a bit of strength for a little fella. Blinking Nora. You mean poor Gromit's inside the ride? What happened, lad? Monty Muzzle? Heavens above. Uh, Twitch, you better stay out of sight. I've got to see about getting Mr. Muzzle to shut down his ride. Hmm, I wonder how we can do that. Bite, and another pie is gobbled by Gabbley. Oh, yes, everything seems to be in order here. Nothing to report. Woohoo! That blooming Bobby has been up there for an hour or more and won't get off. Says he's carrying out an inspection. But he won't find anything untoward on any of my rides. Everything's above board here. Oh, is it now? Uh, 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 of course. And what's that? supposed to mean? No, uh, nothing. Your rides had a spot of mechanical trouble, I see. Oh, no, no, that, 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 that's nothing. Um, purely cosmetic. Um, the, uh, um, <coughs> inner mechanics still run like clockwork. Oh. Had to institute a weight limit, though. Uh, don't want any heavy hands bringing things to a halt. No, of course not. Um, okay. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned from it. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Oh, well, uh, perhaps this one isn't for me. Yeah, I am looking up a couple of things just to speed this along a little bit because I do want to finish this up before the end of the stream anyway. We've the odd bit, I know, but it's not that bad. Okay. The would be chomping champion continues to shovel. Let's have a little nose at the uh, pine contest. The contest hasn't ended yet. Why, no, it's a last man <clears throat> woman standing competition. Oh, who's winning? <clears throat> As if you had to ask, man. <laughs> by my count, the current leader by a thick crust is Mrs. Gabberly. Hogwash! Woohoo! Mmm! And I'm relishing every bite! Ah, I'm just getting 
We'll see about that. Mr. Wallace, would you mind bringing Paneer this slip of paper here when you've a moment? Okay. right -o. What is that? Quite a few pies you've eaten, Mrs. Gabberly. Could have sworn there was more. Haven't really been keeping count. Just getting stuck in and enjoying myself. Right. Edwina's note. Let's bring Excuse this up. Excuse me, Mr. Paneer. Wallace, if you'd like a word, please come up on stage. Meat pies by door, and by heck, look at that crust fly. And what I want to do is show you this. Excuse me, Paneer. Mrs. Gabberly wanted me to give you this. Ah, must be a message to read out for the fair. <clears throat> Testing one, two, one, two. All fairgoers are cordially invited to attend Mrs. Vinnie Gabberly's victory celebrations to be held later this evening at the Gabberly residence. Uh, that's everyone including Major Croft, so long as he's humbled by defeat and pie fatigue. <laughs> A scandalous suggestion. You'll regret the day you taunted a crumb. <laughs> nice one, Winnie Gabberly. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, look at these. Crow right, and Gabberly uh, now putting away pies as if they haven't eaten for a week. Uh, Mr. Crumb. Where did those blighters come from? Who's been pilfering our pies? These aren't yours, Major. Oh, um, why they could be. I suppose. Oh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? What? Oh, my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these appetizers here. And Major Crumb has just learned that Mrs. Gabberly is in the lead by a most devastating pie margin. Oh, not feeling too tickety boo right now. I, I think I might have been out pied by the enemy. And it seems the Major might be giving up, though he's only nine pies behind. Nine? That's it. I capitulate. I surrender. Hoist the white napkin of chronic pie fatigue. Yippee! And down goes the Major. Out for the count. boy, Mrs. Gabberly. Congratulations! Nice. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you like pies, Paneer's Purveyors of Peculiar Produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie-eating needs. I can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show my face in the officer's mess again. Never mind, Major Crumb. You guzzled gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps a man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF ride, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I must have put on five stone. Well, um, or alternatively, there's a phrase called eyes bigger than belly. That's probably what Major Crumb's feeling like right now. Um, okay, let's go back up on here. Hello, Wallace. Okay, so if we gave the note to um, Mrs. Gabberly, what if we tried... Whether you want Pacora, Vice, what if we try giving them to these guys, these things They're to him? Available at Hanier's Peculiar Produce, just two minutes walk from this fairground. Uh, a note, Mr. Paneer. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Hmm. That's all. Stop the ride! That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Duty calls. Uh, a note, Mr. Paneer. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. But Duncan, 
Isn't that the last line of your poem? The one you wrote specially for me? Why, uh, yes, my dear. Its greatness is such that uh, it's already been quoted. The poem you wrote each and every line of? Why, uh, yes, of course. How odd. And that little pick-me-up comes courtesy of Monte Mussel's fortune-telling machine, generously shared by Mr. Wallace. A fortune? Wallace? Honey cakes? I can explain. Explain nothing. It's plagiarism, lies, deceit. I'm through with you, Duncan McBiscuit. Well, that didn't last long, did it? My North Country, man. I wrote all those other lines, especially that one about your haunches. I don't think she wants to know, lad. Okay, so let's t share the last uh, one. A note, Mr. Paneer. Your home smells of a patch of mould? Eee, Mr. Paneer, you've clearly never been to the House of Gabberley, and now you never will. Paneer's peculiar I see when he's still here after that. That didn't so that didn't pour off. Oh my word. Okay, where is where did Major Crum go? Bald death. I was only on her this morning. Oh just over our limits, I'm afraid, Corporal Crum. You must have piled on pounds since then. That blinking contest, and I'm a major, don't you know? Aye, a major liability. So, you're banned, for safety's sake. Perhaps go for a jog or summit, and work off some of that extra weight. Actually, that gives me an, um, an idea. So, um, we picked up a balloon as Gromit, but that seems to have been taken off us, so... I wonder if that has something to do with it. Just pop back to town. A balloon, always a good for a lift. Yeah, I did use the guide initially to just get things moving, and um, things do seem pretty straightforward from here on out. It looks like. Um, okay. Hello, Mr. Crumb. You think you could be a little bit lighter? How about a balloon to cheer you up? With the tiniest little lift, I'd be cleared for takeoff. A balloon, Major Crumb? Who doesn't love a festive balloon? Used to tie the old balloon to our knapsacks when we were in the long grass to distinguish ourselves from the enemy. Uh, perhaps you're ready for the ride now? You might be right. I'm feeling lighter on my feet already. Oh. Weight limit fast. All aboard. Wahoo! Chuck away! Cabin doors to manual. Ready for takeoff. Blam! Good heaven! Major Crumb's carrying too much excess baggage. The ride's going to burst, it seems. We've been hit! Oh my giddy ants. Oh my! Those poor dogs were trapped inside of that dreadful machine the Love entire it. time. Love it. Are you alright, lad? Where is that monster Monty Muscle? He was just here a moment ago. Up, up and away. Right, let's see if we can figure out this next section ourselves what is then. That? It's Monty Muscle! And our money! And Twitch! Arrivederci! Monty Muzzle stock is on the rise. This is no time to jettison the cream, Gromit. We don't do floats. What'll it be, lad? Once we for two. Oh, oh we've got rocket power. Not exactly what I planned, but a clean escape, nevertheless. A few quid and one unexpected runt richer. What do you say, boys? Think we can find work for this emaciated mongrel? That's what I thought. 
Oh, you're not gonna drop him off there, you evil get. Oh, Knickerbocker glory. He's got a head start, lad. We've got to find a way to close the gap. All right. Gromit, those lead line tires are costly, and they weigh a ton. Right, I can't reach it from here. What items do I have? Uh, I don't know. Use a gumball? Nope. Okay. How about bird seed? No. Can you use anything in here? Churn. Without a new flavor scan, the Infini flavor defaults to vanilla. Well, yeah, because vanilla is kind of plain. Nah, I like vanilla ice cream, but I prefer chocolate, though. How about we get it a little bit of a um, gum, a gum flavour, maybe? No, apparently that doesn't do anything. Oh, we're supposed to put it in the scanner hatch. Okay. Uh, good thinking, lad. But that will only affect the taste of the ice cream, not the texture. Um. She's still operational even when she's airborne. Okay. So. Can we put bird feed in there? even when she's airborne. Okay. And what does that do? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing, my boy. Hey, looks like we've sold out of all our cones. That's good news. Good seed ice cream, trying to win over the enemy. Good thinking, lad, but that won't help us slow down Muzzle's balloon. Okay, so maybe I was right the first time then, maybe that gumball. Uh, good thinking, lad. But that will only affect the taste of the ice cream, not the texture. Okay, she's so let's... She's operational even when she's airborne. Okay, so let's try that then. Let's, um... Let's use the scoop ice cream lever. Nope, that doesn't do a thing. Okay. Somebody stop that balloon! Alrighty then. No, not the toy. Twitch's toy? No. Well, I've used all three flavors with that. She's still operational even when she's airborne. Extend the serving arm. So something's probably meant to go in there, but what? I don't know. Buy that? Nope, that does... Wait, hold on. Wait, no, that's not it. A 
There's got to be something here that I've not clicked on. Nope. That won't do anything either. There's gotta be something here we can Dash it all! Muzzles caught a tailwind! It's just too fast! Try shooting it again. Good seed ice cream trying to win over the enemy. Good thinking, lad, but that won't help us slow down Muzzle's balloon. Okay, so I've got to do put something in that extending arm. Oh. Nope. an idiot. We can go up there, can't we? Oh, I can hear your gumball rolling around in there, lad. Okay, let's remove the crank. See if that makes any difference. Good seed ice cream trying to win over the enemy. Good thinking, lad, but that won't help us slow down Muzzle's balloon. Okay, we've just picked up that crank. Can we use that with the tire? We can. Shed some pounds. I wonder what could have been that heavy. Oh, I uh, can't imagine, Wallace. Three lead line tires. Those didn't come cheap, you know. And how are we going to land without any undercarriage? Uh. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get there. On him. Okay, so what do we do here? I don't know. Let's shoot him. No? Can we shoot the ice cream again? Good seed ice cream trying to win over the enemy. Good thinking, lad, but that won't help us slow down Muzzle's balloon. Okay, so we need something else. So let's get back out here. Batch has gone chewy. Time to save Twitch. Well, I'm going to try and do it, Wallace. We're as light as a feather, but Muzzle's balloon is still outpacing us. Okay, so what do we need to do there then? We've shed weight, so the ice cream is oozing out of there now. Wait, hold on. Do I need to use anything else with this? Can I put that back on? I don't know if that's going to do anything. Um, That seems to be out of alignment. I'm not quite sure why that is. Right. 
place. We're as light as a feather. Right, do I need can I do anything with this? Can I chuck some bird seed at the balloon? No. Can I fire the starting pistol in muzzle's direction? No. Hmm. Very peculiar. Can we do anything with the ice cream, I wonder, still? Oh, okay. We didn't actually mix the damn thing, did we? We need to churn it first before we serve it. The old churning arm had its work cut out with that batch. Whew. Things are getting a bit sticky back there. Okay. Muzzle, bombs away, bitch. Oh, nice. Kid, lad. Hey, now he's up a gum tree. We'll catch him now. Knock up my engine, will they? I can still outrun them with the wind at my back. Hey, hey, they've run out of lift. Ah, sorry, my little twitching bag of bones, but no one's coming to save you now. All right, come on, Twitch. Wait, what Where are you doing do with that check? Going with that? Eh, hey, fine then. Let go. Escape me, a flea-ridden friend. Is there another dog in there? Maybe. Maybe I need to fire something else at Monty Muzzle. Bombs away. We've served our last scoop of useful ice cream, lad. Oh. So that does absolutely nothing then. So what if Let's go? Nope. Can I climb up again? I don't think I can. Come off it, right. runt. You don't. Uh, can I climb up on the sunroof? Camera's too close. Don't think I can. Your little chum is putting up quite a fight. Yeah, I wonder what he's actually got in there. Anything in the scanner hatch I can pick up? No. Uh, there's nothing there I can pick up. Hmm. Oh, actually. Maybe I wasn't too far off, actually, with the <coughs> bird seed. Oh, oh, Mr. Muzzle! Is that. Did that land where I think it landed? Easy. You've already been fed today. Ow! Get away! Stay away! Now, listen, chickens. Ah! Oh, that's not good. Let's go, Twitch. So near yet so far. The arm. That's where it's for. Lucky grab, Gromit. Let's get out of here. Whoa. We're one scoop too many, lad. Uh, oh boy. Oh no. Oh no, Gromit. Brace for impact. Rest in peace, chickens. Oh, wait. Help, Gromit. Muzzle's moustache has gone flat. This is all your fault, dog. Oh, oh my. We are falling. Steal from me. Monty Muzzle. That's not how it works, sunshine. 
Yeah, well, if I'm going down, I'd rather mate take some dosh with me. Chicken. Oh, what you done, you beastly animal. Uh, what I'm else? Save what I can. Okay, so we've got the arm. Don't lose that arm, Gromit. But nothing a little glue can't fix. Okay, do I need to grab the chest with that, I wonder? Well, we've got the chickens. Oi, come here, you. That seems to be being pushed in some weird direction. Oh. Gotcha. Give that back right now. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Uh, this balloon's got no lip. Yeah, I can see that, Wallace. Can you use that with hit Wallace? No. Can you use it with that chest? I don't think you can. What happens if I use it with Monty? The dogs land on all fours. I don't think so. Okay, maybe when he comes back around again. What is it he's even riding on? Don't think those donations aren't mine just because they're floating about. Um. Steady, Gromit. It looks dangerous. You could get your paws nipped or worse. Okay, why have I tried using the arm with this then? Uh, that does not seem to do anything. Do we use the money with the propeller? If you want your master to take you for walkies ever again, you'll be very careful with that. Careful, I said. No! My money! Oh, my beautiful money! Help! We're still falling, lad! Oh uh, yeah, I never thought- oh, hello. What's this random tank doing in the middle of nowhere? That's probably come from the hot air balloon. Come on, Wallace. We could do with some more air. It should hold us for just long enough. They might have flown too high and suffocated in the atmosphere. Happened to many a bomber in the war. And all to save a poor defenseless boy. <laughs> Who would have thought Wallace was so selfless and brave? Aye, but more importantly, that blinking fairground felon still got our cash. He's due a soak in the mouth and a kick in the head. Honestly, Duncan, the last thing we need is more violence. We need heroes. Look, guys, use his beard. What on earth is that? It's a giant mustache. Ah, oh, I've seen bigger. <laughs> You're alive! Uh, yes, and saved by a whisker. Something of a close shave, eh, Gromit? Oh, -ho. Ah! And here he is in jail. With the puppies, I'm guessing? Oh! The two little shits. These poor pups won't go homeless after all, Gromit. Me and Mr. Gadley would be thrilled to take them in. No, we wouldn't. Pipe down, you misery guts. Great. Yet another mouth to feed. Three mouths. Oh, no. Anyway, Gromit, feel free to pop by for walkies any time you like. Your friends will always be here. Ooh, that little one's quite the hero. Have to keep him out of trouble from now on. Wallace! Oh, 
Oh, that was a feat of incredible bravery. Oh, it was nothing, Miss Flit, really. All in a day's work for Gromit and me. Couldn't let Muzzle run off with our Twitch now, could we? A man like you is one in a million, Wallace. Your courage, your selflessness, your aerial acrobatics. You could have been killed, yet you saved the poor whippets, apprehended the monstrous mountain muzzle, and saved everyone's fortunes. You're a true hero to the town. Oh, um, well, uh, um, thank you very much, Miss Flit. Mm hmm. Uh, now, if only I could find the piece I that. I uh... feel a little awkward asking you this, Wallace, but. I was wondering. With a bit of elbow I grease, I'm sure Gromit and I can have this up and running again by Christmas. Wallace, I. I have a proposal for oh, you. Oh, I wonder where this goes. Oh, Wallace! Yes? A proposal and a ring! How. how. Oh, shocking! I beg your pardon, Miss Flit. And so polite. Now, calm yourself, Felicity. Will I, Felicity Flit, marry you, Wallace? What? Now, pull yourself together, Felicity, my girl. You mustn't rush into this. I'm honored that you would have me as your bride, Wallace. But I must think it over. I shall give you my answer within the week. Oh dear, we seem to be in a little bit of trouble. Okay, so that was episode three, Muzzled. Um, it's a nice little um, episode. Again, like with most of these, you can see the, the plot happening if this was an actual Wallace and Gromit short. Um, I'd say it was a more, I was gonna say it's a, a nice to have a little, a more clear cut villain than the previous two episodes. Um, but something seems to be missing with this one. I'm not quite sure pointing my finger on what it is. I mean, there's a lot more things to do. I know that much. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is that's missing on here. I'll, it'll probably hit me when I come off stream. Um, but yeah, we'll be moving on to episode four next... M not next Monday, because Resident Evil will be back for its turn. But a, a third go around. Hopefully better than last time. And also, we are... I was going to say Sunday. I'm still flip-flopping between uh, Tomb Raider... Uh, sorry, moving Tomb Raider Unfinished Business up a week. Uh, or continuing with the original plan with Shenmue 3. Um, because the original idea I had... Well, regardless of which game gets played on that Sunday... Uh, it will start at a later time, so it will be roughly around this evening time rather than uh, afternoon or than the usual Sunday slot would go. But yeah, um, you notice Wallace was voiced by Ben Whitehead, not um, Peter Salas, who was unfortunately um, passed away. Um, I think he was still alive by the time this game was made. Um, but he definitely wouldn't be around now, sadly, which is a shame because uh, he's a fine. He's a, he was a fine actor, very well. His his Wallace was absolutely divine. I mean, Ben Whitehead does a good job here as well. But yeah, as I say, it was nice. It's a nice little thing. Um, you can tell was one thing the Telltale ha um, have done in this game that I like is um, Gromit's facial expressions because. Um, Obviously, in the shorts, he doesn't really talk, but you know what he's thinking through his facial expressions and his movements and stuff like that. Um, I love how that's translated really well in, his ga in this game. You can see, you can see instances like Gromit rolling his eyes or looking shocked or confused. I love how that's translated really, really well. <laughs> I'm just la laughing at Wallace's um, shocked expression there. It's just kept there as like a freeze frame. Yeah, one thing I will say, I mean, obviously, because it, I suppose it's a Wallace and Gromit, sure, I mean, 
it's simple on the characterization, but I feel like the characters that they're sad characters like Pania, um, Felicity, save for the end bit which we saw there. Um, Gabalee's all right, but most of them aren't really developed by the beyond their initial um, personality traits. That's why I struggled a little bit to um, describe Mr. Pania's personality. I mean, in episode two, he's a little bit of a scaredy cat with the murder mystery thing going on. But other than that, for most of them, they don't really get that much... Some of them, they don't get that much personality to. My favourites are definitely Felicity Flit and the Gavilies. They are an absolute joy. Okay. So I think we're just... Before we sign off, we're going to do with the preview for episode four. If it loads. Gromit, I have a strange feeling this is the day our fortunes are going to change. No, I think... Making eggs ought to be a breeze. I think, oh no, I think this is just a generic preview of the episodes. I think I'm going to fade. Put me down gently and no one will get caught. This is my latest invention. Cracking job, Gromit. Oh dear. Okay, so a little bit of a preview of the bogeyman. Oh, great, we get a wrong, wrong trousers reference. From a, a minor technical hitch at the end. Oh, right, we get a little bit of the, maybe the what... So the wrong trousers have been referenced before in episode one. Um, but other than that, yeah, also I noticed there have been a couple of sound glitches with this game. Uh, I don't know if it was to do with my own personal, um, with my own hardware or the game itself, but it just seemed a little bit weird that it's, um, because a couple of times you had more than, you had dialogue playing overlapping each other, like, multiple times. Uh, I just thought that was a bit weird, but okay, we're going to sign off here for the night. Thank you for everyone who came in and supported the stream. Um, you can watch... All the VODs on YouTube. This and the Tomb Raider VOD will go out on fr on Friday. So you can watch the YouTube channel here. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at NebBice uh, for updates on future streams. And we also have a Discord server if you'd be so inclined to join. Uh, yeah, so... my microphone went okay so i'm just gonna wrap things up here again thank you for supporting the stream and i will see you again on sunday for either shenmue 3 or tomb raider unfinished business goodbye and to